yeah. Finally doing a review of the Mini Ghost. I've been wanting to do a review on this since I got it, but it's just proven really difficult to get any footage of surfing it, which I feel like is the most important thing of a board review is to see how the board actually goes in a variety of different conditions, especially conditions in the UK. So what I'll do is I'm going to get some of the squad members that I coach who ride boards of similar dims and who are similar height and weight to me. I'm going to put the dims of the Mini Ghost on the screen so you can see it and my dims and give my personal review of the Mini Ghost so far. I got the Mini Ghost to fit in the quiver as a high performance small wave groveler. I found it needed a little bit of power in the wave to really get going. It really came alive when there was a little bit of shape. So kind of like a low tide, nice clean face and then it was absolutely magic but for kind of all round mushy mush burger conditions it didn't get going as much as i thought it would a little bit unpredictable whether you're going to stand up with lots of speed or feel like you're really having to work hard fins i initially started with medium felipe's it just slid out a bit too much i couldn't put uh, too much power behind turns and I felt like I was nursing it a little bit so I stuck some large Felipe's in there and that definitely changed the game so I would definitely recommend some large fins because it's such a small board. So now I'm going to get the squad on it and put their dims on the screen so you can see what height and weight they are and this board will stay the same so it's the 5.4 Mini Ghost and we'll have large Felipe fins in there. Let's go. How was the mini ghost? Fun but weird. It was like you didn't feel the release and then you stay over the board and then when you hit the section you suddenly feel the release. Don't want to go on rail. In the pocket on these ways. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Quick? Snappy. Well, it was quick, but the only thing it, was, it didn't have was it didn't have the drive So that wraps up the Mini Ghost review. One thing that stood out to me when watching the footage back, I felt like the Mini Ghost looked better under the feet of those surfers who were slightly smaller. So if I was to order another Mini Ghost, I would definitely go for a couple of sizes above. I just got this in what I would ride a typical shortboard in, so around 25 and a half litres. 
I think for a groveler, I should have known better and gone for a few more litres than what my typical short board would be. Okay, so to wrap it up, I would say that the Mini Ghost isn't that high performance groveler, but it does go really well in small hollow waves, probably really good at the wave, or some bigger, slopier conditions with a bit of power there. That's when this board's really fun. I hope you enjoyed the review. If there's anything you think would have been really helpful to see or know or something else you would like to see, let me know in the comments and I will try and get it in the next board review.